Okay, where we left off last, we were copying and pasting statements that were in our Excel spreadsheet. Right, not the numbers, we don't need the numbers, we only need the statements. We copied them in Excel, we went into our file, which we opened um, from in our, our PQ method folder, right, which was QW 2012, the STA file, that's for statements, right? <clears throat> and we copied and pasted, then we always did paste and special, right? And then we said, right, unformatted. And so here are all of our statements. We should have 44 statements. We have a carriage return at the end, and we hit save. And now we can go back into our program and hit one for statements and it tells us that we have 44 statements so far it's always a good idea to go and make sure right it's especially great check to make sure you remember that carriage return at the end i can hit enter to continue and there are all my statements and they're within this dos editor that we saw earlier um, you might notice that for, say, statement number three, it just says research studies that involve mixed and then an M. It's DOS, and there's a limitation to how long the statements can be. Don't worry about that. That's one of the beautiful things about having the statement file or having files typed up in Excel. When we go to write things up, we can always do some copying and pasting. We need to exit here, so Alt for alternate and X lets us leave and we're right back to where we had started off right with our menu and so you notice that things really go in the order right that are there that they're presented in here and we're literally going to go down one two right to the next part which is our entering then after that, we have choices to what to do once we've entered all of our statements. So we're going to next look at entering statements. So we'll do that as a separate video because that will take us a little longer.